Our first one will be Trash Splash. Which, uh, so the, the Global Game Jam, the, the theme in general was, uh, was this home. And however you want to interpret that or parse that, uh, there are a lot of, like, sub-themes you could use and whatnot, but, uh, the, the general idea was home. And so this is a game about diving up trash and using it to create your own house floating on the ocean. Uh, so it's, it, I guess it's like Raft, except really dirty. Which, I'm, I'm cool with that. I haven't played Raft, but I've heard relatively good things. The, the file name, if, if, trash, if Trash Splash wasn't good enough, the file name is Floaty Bodhi. This game could suck and I'd still enjoy it. I'd enjoy it on like a conceptual level. Alright. House upgrades. Use number keys. Oh, things are happening over there. <laughs> we just teleport up the ladder. Check your mail. I, I, how do I check my mail? Uh, I'm clicking resume and not, it's not resuming. Okay, let's uh, let's start over and just don't pause ever. Little uh, little interface hiccups, I suppose. I, I just hit all the number keys, and then that happened. And I guess I'm out of trash. My trash amount is zero. I, I would point out that I can't jump, but I did... I, I, I am in the water, so I, I am also not a dolphin. Uh, I mean, this looks hilarious, just running in open water. Um, I, I think I have stamina. I think that's what the, the little energy bar is, so maybe I should get back to land. Uh, but I mean, it, it gets the point across, is the thing. Like, it does function. I ran out of energy and sank and respawned. Okay. I don't know what this, like this bubble meter at the, uh, at the far left, I'm not sure what that is. very buoyant and uh rather lacking in way for me to get up there are we good now we're i mean i'm recharging There's a, there's a door in the rocks? I cannot figure out how to open it. 
I cannot figure out if I'm supposed to be able to open it. I still haven't figured out how to check my mail. Okay, I can't collect that trash. There's another secret door. I want to go in the secret door. Okay, there was a ladder there that I just teleported up, so I get back to safety. And yeah, maybe you open the door. Maybe you don't. Maybe you like. Maybe that's a red herring. I'm hitting like every button on my keyboard. I zoomed out somehow. All right. Why did I hit the Windows lock? <laughs> I don't even know where that is on this keyboard. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is like the uh, the default Unity model. Cause like, hey, you you want to prove a concept, you want to build out something first. Don't worry about little things like that. It like legit does not matter. But uh, having some idea of what the interaction is that would kind of help. This all looks like the trash that I might want to be gathering. Oh, I zoom with the uh, the mouse wheel. We're in first person mode now. It could just be a really a really weird like exploration game. That's a crab. That's a hexagonal crab. Hello, hexacrab. I mean, I do love, like, par partly why I selected this is that it visually is really interesting. I wanna see if there's anything on their, on their page that explains it more. No, there is a video. It is 20 seconds long. Yeah, I have no sense of what they're doing in this. I'm gonna dive into the water and... Okay, so when you're underwater, Okay, so the left meter is like your air. And then the right meter is stamina, I guess. Which, I mean, makes total sense as like what, what you would need for an aquatic game. Yeah, part of why I was, like, initially interested in looking at this is the art style is actually really cool. Like, this just black and white kind of vibe. I actually dig that. I just can't tell anything that's going on or anything that should be going on. Is this Is this trash I can collect? Got a checkerboard pattern and has vanished. I did collect it. I have collected trash. Let's go. Are you are you trash I can collect? I don't know what I did to collect it, I just kinda Rammed it. 
Yeah, I've, I've collected more trash. Or... It's like got a, a weird small hitbox, perhaps? I have the tiniest amount of trash. Now I'm supposed to be able to use the minus and equals to, uh, to build even more additions. Because I've already hit all the number keys. But I don't know what those additions cost, because it does, it does like cost trash to uh, to build stuff, and we started off with 750, which was enough to do almost everything, but not actually everything. I, I don't know how much more trash we need. How to really like cause it to uh, to collect? I wonder if we missed all the trash. Like it's all over there now. Will it come back? Will there be more? I don't see any trash on the horizon. I just see a lot over there. I guess we can just swim out this way and then run out of energy and teleport back. Yeah, I like the I like the concept. I like the thought of you know, just having a little outpost and then having to build it up with whatever comes across. And yeah, we're out of energy. So yeah, we can't we can't reach that trash anymore though. These are rocks. Rocks are not trash. All right. Uh, I paused the game, so it has to stop now. <laughs> yeah, that's. I I love the idea. I. I love the design. Uh, I have no idea what, like, how it's supposed to work. Um, like, how was I picking up trash? And like, I'm, I'm sure it's implemented. I'm sure, obviously, it worked. We were able to do it. Um, I think those those are sorts of things that just like put up a little text on that as well. Um, again, these are jam games that are made over a weekend, so there's only so much you can do. I don't care that like the player model is a default. Whatever. Uh, that's that's not the point. I think the uh, the point was interesting. I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. But uh, the thought that I want to make it work is probably. Like, probably a good starting point for them.